Hello, my name's Tom Goff, and I've worked in track maintenance for a Class 1 railway for 38 years, and currently work as an independent track inspector, auditor, and railway instructor, helping industrial railways, short lines, and light rail transit operators for over 10 years. Back in the early 1900s, the Canadian Pacific Railway faced an enormous challenge. Building a rail line across the Rockies meant navigating steep grades, and the Big Hill, as it was known, was one of the steepest and most treacherous sections. With grades as steep as 4.5%, trains had to descend the Big Hill at a crawl to avoid disastrous runaway accidents. But engineers came up with an ingenious solution to tame this incline, enter the spiral tunnels. The spiral tunnels, completed in 1908, used a looping design to extend the distance trains need to travel as they ascend or descend the hill. This clever engineering reduced the grade from 4.5% to a much safer 2.2%. So how do they work? Essentially, the tunnels force the track to make a 270-degree loop inside the mountain, allowing the train to gain or lose elevation gradually rather than all at once. This design reduces strain on both the track and the locomotive. But it's not just about the shape of the track. Building these tunnels required precise engineering. The track inside is laid on a solid foundation to handle the weight and force of the long freight trains, some stretching over a mile. The track design within the spiral tunnels is reinforced to withstand significant lateral, vertical, and longitudinal forces. Engineers use a combination of strong bedrock, durable ballast, and high-strength steel rails to ensure that each train moves safely through the loops without stressing the structure. One of the most amazing sights is watching a train loop through the tunnels. Sometimes you can see both the front and the back of the train crossing over itself at different points on the loop, proof of the tunnel's spiraling path through the mountain. By extending the route with the use of switchbacks and the spiral tunnels, the grade is lengthened. The spiral tunnels also reduce wear and tear on the track and the trains. Less braking is required and engines don't need to strain as hard leading to fewer mechanical failures and a safer journey for goods and passengers. It's amazing to think that over a hundred years later, these tunnels continue to serve Canadian railroads, carrying everything from grain to manufactured goods through the heart of the Rockies. The spiral tunnels aren't just an engineering marvel. They're a testament to the ingenuity and determination that helped shape Canadian railroads.